98.4 Capital FM. On location. The first 100 days, there's been a lot of challenges for this government. We're seeing the teachers go on strike. We've seen an increased insecurity both within and around the borders of Kenya. We've also seen rampant poaching and a possible food insecurity problem. What can we expect from the government going forward? The way to resolve this issue is not through strikes, it's by sitting down across the table, dialoguing and negotiating. And actually our courts said the very same thing, that look, uh, call this strike off, go sit down and negotiate. You've seen uh, from the last two days or so that uh, the COPET team has come to the table. We've managed to negotiate and agree on something. I also believe we can manage to negotiate with not and agree on something. But we've got to be on the table. And the, the, the challenges that are there uh, belong to all of us. We're not going to be, be miracle makers and, and, and resolve them in one day because were they to be resolved in one day, Previous governments, you know, would have done it. Two particular situations which uh, uh, were out there, the Bungwama uh, issue, yeah, that really we believe was largely, it was other issues, uh, you know, underlying that. But we've ultimately managed to tame that particular situation. And the Mandera situation, which again is caused by inter warfare. It, these are not normal incidences of, 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 of crime. And, and, and we have addressed ourselves to those particular issues, given the fact that we acknowledge that security or lack of it has been a major problem uh, for this country. But we need time for some of the programs that were put in place to begin to begin to, to work um, as, as we as we as we move forward. It hasn't been all doom and gloom, has it? There are a number of things that um, your government can celebrate in the first 100 days. Very briefly, what are some of these? We can celebrate the fact that uh, we have instituted the free maternal health care. This is something that uh, uh, um, we made as a pledge. It has its teething problems, but it is, it is being implemented. And we've seen an increase of over 7%. The number of women who are actually now going to, to uh, um, uh, government health facilities to, to, to give birth. So we can see a positive uh, thing coming out of that worked on the issue of the framework for the release of the six billion that we promised the youth and women of this country. We have a, a government in place under a new constitutional framework that uh, is more gender sensitive than any other government uh, you know, in the past. So indeed there are a number of areas where we can say look we're proud and happy and uh, that doesn't mean we still don't have a lot of work to do. We still have a lot of work to do and I believe working together with our Kenyan we, we will be able to deliver on our promises and pledges. Mr. President, I would be remiss if I did not ask you this question. If you were stuck in a desert, what is your favorite song that you would take with you? The one book other than the Bible that you would take with you? And um, let's see, a, a luxury item. I think uh, the, one, the one album I take with me is uh, UB40. Um, other than the Bible, the one book I take with me would Probably be um, my goodness, which one? I don't know. I have to think about that one. Uh, and the last one was what? Uh, luxury item. The luxury item that I think I would definitely take would be my iPod. Your iPod. Thank you ever so much for giving us uh, some time. That's Renee Gaval with um, His Excellency the President Uhuru Kenyatta. Thank you ever so much. I'll call you about the book. <laughs>